Hey everybody, Scatterbrain Dad here, back again to plow with the Jeep here. Anyways, we got a we got a call out to uh, do this property specifically. Um, there's a yeah, they want a I guess a zero tolerance on this property from now on, which was good for us. We're willing to do that. But I just figured I'd bring you along with me so you can check it out. I might talk a little bit here while I'm doing it, but yeah. So, anyways, I guess there's a there's a foot doctor here now who wasn't here before, so he's on the he's one of the tenants leasing the building out. So, I mean, I guess it makes sense, right? He's a foot doctor. A lot of people coming into this property are going to be having problems with their feet. Maybe they can't walk so good. Um, so, makes 100% total sense to come and push this snow. <clears throat> but, funny thing about this storm is none of my other properties have snow, really. Um, there's one other property in this town that I have that has a skiff. I mean, one of them little skiffs that if you put salt down, there's not enough moisture in it that the salt, you know, you may get a, a 50 cent size piece of uh, water around that salt, you know, each salt droplet. Um, so anyways, it's supposed to warm up a little bit, so we were just going to let it melt off. Now, this property doesn't have that much, but over here to the left, this way, there's a north facing side, and that's got about an inch. So the guy did call and say there was about an inch, which right there, yes, the rest of the parking lot, no. But it is what it is. And we're plowing, we're here now plowing. So, plowing in two wheel drive, it's not slick. Just moseying along, brought some salt so we can salt it afterwards. In fact, maybe, maybe I'll try to rig up the camera and uh, try to get a little video from the salt. I'll see if I have a bungee cord in here. I'll have to bungee my, my tripod to the back of the Jeep or something. We'll try it, nonetheless, right? Yeah, so, anyways, if you haven't checked it out, I posted up a video, my last video talks about, um, you know, businesses uh, preparing to fail, and basically, just talks a little bit about, you know, preparing a little bit for those who might have a family or, you know, have a lot to lose because, you know, you don't want to, you don't want to start a business, have it fail, and pretty much lose everything you've worked so hard for up to this point in life, right? No, no sense in that at all. So, check it out. I may post a link up to that video at the end of this video. But, that being said, I probably should have said this at the beginning of the video, but if you, if you like this stuff, go ahead and like and comment on the video. It really helps out a little bit as far as the algorithm on the old YouTube helps uh, the video get shared a little bit more from YouTube and puts it in front of a few more people's eyes if you would so it helps out
good thing about this business here is it doesn't look like it's open pretty early. The doctor's here, but other than that, it's it's almost 10 o'clock, so I'm sure he's going to be opening soon. Or if he is opening, he does not have any clients just yet, so that makes it good. <clears throat> So this video here, I'll basically keep filming until we are done plowing and then is what I'll do is I will make, sorry I'm just watching my, my mirrors here, but is what we'll do is then I'll, uh, I'll make a salt video separate. Take a little bit of time to see if I can't rig up this phone to grab that so that we can get some good footage of uh, seeing how that salter works, right? Let's do it. So anyways, if you've watched this video this far, here, let me see if I can, that mount might have moved a little bit. This mount's kind of a little weird. But anyways, um, if you're watching this far, I'm just curious if you enjoy these plowing videos with music or with me talking I know they kind of I mean if I was watching this I'd probably get a little bored with with the uh, just the plowing as far as uh, but I just basically edit this stuff straight from my phone well I don't even edit it I just throw it up this is all raw footage no editing goes into these plowing type videos some of my other I think I did one where I edited it put a little bit of music to it shortened it a little bit but you know to be honest um, a lot of this stuff is just real time like this is how long it takes me to plow this particular property not a big property but real time so I don't know if you want to fast forward through some of this stuff feel free to do it but I also just feel like I need to share with you on you know how long it takes it's kind of important when you're picking up uh, client accounts uh, one thing that's really important is obviously time you know if you've only got one truck and you're trying to pick up, say, you know, some commercial properties, you're definitely going to want to um, not pick up too many properties because they do take time. So, you know, you got to figure in your plow time versus what time they want it plowed by. So if you got six properties and they want it plowed by 7 o'clock in the morning, you know, I don't know about your areas, but, man, some of these storms come in. They don't even start snowing until seven. So then you got everyone at work. Then your timing is off a little bit. It takes you a little longer because you got these cars kind of parked here. If that car wasn't parked here, it'd be a little easier to do this parking lot. So time 
it takes to plow is actually pretty important. So just a note there if you haven't thought about that before. Yes, you do. soft this pretty good so I'm not gonna worry about this little section here on the very very corner the some of the teeny tiny corners it don't need to be super super clean So that looks like a pretty good pile, but I had a little bit of snow from this side of the parking lot and that north side all pushed right there and we're taking it all down there to the end. So this parking lot's pretty much the same parking lot as some of those other videos. I'm sure you've noticed that by now and if you haven't um it is but uh these properties with the way some of these storms come in they are technically some of the only properties that actually get hit so um some other properties i have just north of here um so i've got this jeep and my dad's jeep and we service pretty good chunk as far as area goes um, the good thing about some of that though is we actually um, the properties we do have a lot of them are really really close together so you know we may drive a small portion of time to the next city but we've got a good chunk of properties there and they're all together so anyways i think that's about it as far as the plow goes so we're gonna cut this video here short that's not short hell 13 minutes going on 14 we'll try to finish up at 14 but yeah that's that for this we are going to throw some salt in the salt thing and then i'm going to salt so i will see if i can rig my camera up real quick to get some shots of the salter and we will try to get some footage of that so be watching for that next video of me salting this parking lot peace